expandable fabric paint. You know guys, I've been painting on clothes for more than 6 years and it's so great that I'm still able to discover new art supplies for fabric and new techniques. Um, but actually I discovered this paint one year ago and I tried it out and I didn't like it. And I even have a video on my channel where I said that it's not worth the money. But then I saw other artists, other clothes customizers working with this paint and I understood that I was wrong. That if you know uh, how to use this paint Paint, if you know what to paint with this paint, you can create so cool designs on your clothes, 3D designs. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. So there are two ways of creating 3D uh, effect art on your clothes. Uh, first way is using Pebel Stacolor fabric paints with suede effect. And there are a lot of colors of such paints. I have plenty of them. Yellow, purple, brown, black, pretty all the colors you can find. And the other way is using Pebel Stacolor expandable paint. Uh, it's a paint which you can mix with regular fabric paints and which will turn your regular fabric paints into a, a 3D effect fabric paints. And now I'm gonna make paint samples to show you the difference between fabric paints with suede effect and expandable paint plus fabric paint mix. But of course it's cheaper to buy uh, regular fabric paints and then one can of expandable paint uh, to be able to create 3D effect uh, rather than buying all colors of fabric paints with suede effect. But there is a small difference between paints, you will see it now. So to turn your regular fabric paints into 3D effect fabric paints, uh, you need uh, to mix expandable fabric paint with your regular fabric paint, a one to one ratio. And even though expandable paint is white color, it doesn't work as regular white color. I mean, it doesn't change the color of fabric paint. Uh, it probably makes a color a bit lighter, but just a bit. Here you can see difference between suede effect fabric paints and expandable paint plus fabric paint. Suede effect paints have shimmer and expandable paint plus fabric paint are matte. So well, how to activate 3D effect is with iron. You need to iron for 5 minutes on the reverse side or through some thin fabric. And here is the result and as you can see there is definitely a volume now and I can say that expandable paint plus fabric paint have more volume than a suede effect paints. And now let's create something beautiful on a t-shirt. First I'm fixing t-shirt on a cardboard and sketching out design using simple pencil. I'm gonna use pretty all the paints, <laughs> uh, suede effect paints and for some colors which I don't have in suede effect paints, I'm gonna mix regular fabric paint with expandable paint. And I'm gonna create artwork in so-called strokes technique. I'm gonna make many many small strokes and artwork will be inspired uh, by Starry Night, so famous artwork of Van Gogh. And yeah, I think that such technique will look so cool in 3D, uh, you know, such volumetric strokes it will look so interesting. Uh, so that's why I decided to create such strokes uh, artwork. And I saw clothes customizers working in so-called embroidery with paint technique and they use a 3D outliners of Brent Pebeo. Yes, Brent Pebeo also produces 3D outliners, but I couldn't find them, so I bought just uh, paints. Uh, so with these outliners you can create such very volumetric lines, 
which look just like some stitches and it looks so interesting but I couldn't find outliners but I'm trying to create such very similar embroidery effect with brush uh, so painting process is pretty the same as with the regular uh, fabric paints uh, you can mix uh, paints with each other you can create shadow and light absolutely the same way or you can paint even on black fabric but first you will create white base layer using white suede paint or a white fabric paint plus uh, expandable paint and then second layer you will apply like the color you need but in my opinion such more simple graphic artworks will look better uh, in 3d effect uh, and especially minimalist artworks like i have a video on my channel if you haven't seen it yet check it out i will put link in the description below uh, how to create minimalist art so you can use such expandable paint 3d effect paint uh, to create lines and they will look so cool and so interesting just like an embroidery and let's talk about washing because i always get comments <laughs> about washing when i show new art supplies or new techniques uh, all the paints which i showed you weight effect paints expandable paints uh, all the paints are fabric paints and of course you can wash clothes painted with touch paints in a washing machine 30 40 celsius degrees I decided to add a very meaningful quote and uh, to paint it I'm gonna use again 3D effect paint and I think that such paints are perfect for lettering, for lettering designs. Now looking at sample, I'm trying to understand how artwork will look like when I activate 3D effect. And I waited for a couple of hours to let paint dry and I'm gonna iron it on the reverse side but I decided to put baking paper between a front side and back side of a t-shirt in case of some accidents. Uh, you know guys, once I activated 3D effect with an iron, I understood that some of the strokes I made too thin, so this 3D effect is not very visible. So if you want uh, to create such very visible 3D effect, you need to create thick layers. Uh, so then I put one more layer of paint and then finally I got the result which I loved. And now I'm gonna create one more t-shirt, t-shirt which I've been planning to make for a while, t-shirt which will represent my channel. It's gonna be a very simple design and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And yeah, my channel is probably the only channel on YouTube which doesn't sell merch but shows how to DIY it. <laughs> so DIY my merch. And I'm gonna create very simple design using 3D effect paint uh, which any beginner can make but first I want to uh, create a canvas, beautiful canvas so I'm gonna dye a t-shirt with textile dyes tie-dye t-shirt and I won't describe step-by-step -step process of uh, tie-dyeing t-shirt I'm sure most of you know how to tie-dye t-shirt um, I just want to say that I'm using a local brand textile dyes uh, and I'm sure you can find very good quality textile dyes in any country and just read uh, instructions and you will be able to uh, tie dye a t-shirt and also I don't like to create such spiral designs I like to create uh, such free dyeing designs I'm just ran randomly tying t-shirt and just randomly uh, putting paint without any rules I just love you know freedom it's like an artistic freedom I call it and I don't use too much dye I mean I dissolve the, just a small amount of dye in a large amount of water because I want to create pastel t-shirt
And here is the result of tie dyeing very soft pastel t shirt as I wanted it to be. And as I'm gonna create lettering design, I decided to show you how you can easily create lettering design. <laughs> Uh, so I'm using a website thefont.com. There are a lot of beautiful fonts, all kind of fonts, and all are free for personal use. So you can just type there what you want to write uh, on your clothes and then choose font which you like. And then all you need to do is to take a screenshot, then adjust size and simply transfer this lettering from screen onto a paper by putting paper on top of a screen and tracing letters with pencil. I'm gonna write art fashion. What is my channel about? Uh, and first I transferred lettering from screen onto a paper and I'm gonna transfer from paper onto a t-shirt using a transfer paper or carbon paper. And I'm gonna use regular fabric paints, purple and pink color, mixed with expandable paint because uh, the 3D effect is more visible when you mix fabric paint with expandable paint. And I think that such 3D effect uh, can turn simple lettering design into a very very interesting lettering design, especially calligraphy will look amazing in 3D. And this time I'm trying to create thick layers, uh, probably I will put two, three layers of paint because I want my letters to be as 3D as possible. <laughs> This time I put baking paper on top of design and such way you can also activate 3D effect. So now guys, I'm waiting for you to DIY my merch. And let's create an art fashion game. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you what I create in this video, but first ask for support for your likes and comments. And if you are new here, subscribe for more painting on clothes videos. And here is the final result.